Hello and welcome back to another video from Money Pro. This is your fourth stimulus check update and latest news on multiple U.S. financial aid programs. Social Security benefits for retired workers, spouses, and survivors, for key things married couples must understand. Social Security is one of the most crucial sources of income for retirees in the United States. However, the complexity of the system often leads to confusion, especially when it comes to spousal and survivor benefits. Many married couples are not fully aware of how Social Security works in their particular situation, and misunderstandings can lead to missed opportunities or lost income. In fact, a recent survey conducted by MassMutual revealed some common misconceptions among adults approaching retirement age. For example, 25% of respondents incorrectly marked the statement, if I have a spouse, he or she can receive benefits from my record even if he or she has no individual earnings history, as false. This misconception highlights the confusion around spousal benefits. Another 30% of respondents incorrectly marked the statement, if I have a spouse and he or she passes away, I will receive both my full benefit and my deceased spouse's full benefit, as true, revealing misunderstandings about survivor benefits. Additionally, 41% of respondents incorrectly marked the statement, if I get divorced, I might be able to collect social security benefits based on my ex-spouse's social security earnings history, as false, indicating a lack of understanding regarding divorce benefits. These kinds of misunderstandings can have serious financial repercussions. Social security can be a critical part of a couple's retirement income, and the lack of accurate knowledge may result in substantial amounts of lost income. To ensure that married couples are well prepared for retirement, it's important to understand the following four key aspects of social security benefits for spouses, retirees, and survivors. 1. Spouses can claim social security based on their retired partner's work record. One of the most important things married couples need to understand is that Social Security retirement benefits are not only available to retired workers but also to their spouses, even if the spouse has no personal earnings record. In other words, a spouse who has never worked or has a limited earnings history can still receive Social Security benefits based on their partner's work record. This is known as a spousal benefit. To be eligible, the following conditions must be met. The spouse claiming the benefit must be at least 62 years old. The partner, primary worker, must already be receiving Social Security benefits. The couple must have been married for at least one year. If these conditions are satisfied, the spouse can claim benefits based on the retired worker's earnings record. The maximum spousal benefit is typically up to 50% of the retired worker's full retirement benefit, assuming the spouse claims benefits at their full retirement age, FRA. If a spouse chooses to claim benefits before reaching FRA, which ranges from 66 to 67 depending on birth year, the benefit will be reduced. It's important to note that spouses cannot receive both their own retirement benefits and spousal benefits. For instance, if a person has worked and accumulated their own Social Security earnings history, they may be eligible for retirement benefits as a worker and for benefits as a spouse. In this case, Social Security will calculate both amounts, and the individual will receive the higher of the two not both. This decision is automatic when the claim is made, meaning individuals cannot choose to temporarily claim spousal benefits while delaying their own worker benefits for a larger payout later on. 2. Surviving Spouses and Survivor Benefits Another important aspect of Social Security is the survivor benefit, which is available to the surviving spouse if their partner passes away. This benefit helps provide financial security to widows or widowers, and it can be especially important for couples who rely on one primary source of income. Here are the key points to consider regarding survivor benefits. A surviving spouse can receive up to 100% of their deceased spouse's benefit if they wait until their full retirement age to claim it. If the surviving spouse chooses to claim the benefit before reaching their FRA, the benefit amount will be reduced. 
Contrary to popular belief, a surviving spouse cannot receive both their own retirement benefit and the full survivor benefit. Instead, Social Security will pay the higher of the two. If the surviving spouse's own retirement benefit is smaller than the deceased spouse's benefit, they will receive the larger survivor benefit, but not both. Survivor benefits can be claimed as early as age 60 or age 50 if the surviving spouse is disabled. However, claiming early will result in a reduced benefit amount. If a surviving spouse remarries before age 60, they generally cannot receive survivor benefits from their former spouse's record. If they remarry after age 60, they may still be eligible to receive survivor benefits. This is an important point to understand because many people believe that they will be able to collect both their own social security benefit and their deceased spouse's full benefit, but this is not the case. Understanding the limits and options available for survivor benefits can help couples plan for the future and avoid unpleasant surprises. 3. Benefits for Divorced Spouses Social Security benefits are also available for divorced spouses under certain conditions. If a marriage lasted at least 10 years and the divorced spouse has not remarried, they may be eligible to claim benefits based on their ex-spouse's earnings record. This is commonly known as the divorced spousal benefit, and it works similarly to the benefit available to current spouses. To be eligible, the divorced spouse must be at least 62 years old, and their ex-spouse must be eligible for Social Security retirement or disability benefits. However, the ex-spouse does not need to have started receiving benefits for the divorced spouse to be eligible. The divorced spouse will receive an amount up to 50% of the ex-spouse's full retirement benefit if they claim benefits at their full retirement age. If they choose to claim benefits before reaching FRA, the benefit will be reduced. Importantly, the benefits received by a divorced spouse do not impact the amount that the primary worker or their current spouse will receive. In other words, a worker's current spouse and ex-spouse can both receive benefits simultaneously without reducing each other's benefits. It's also worth noting that if a person has been married and divorced more than once, they may be eligible to claim Social Security benefits based on the earnings record of any ex-spouse, provided the marriage lasted at least 10 years and other conditions are met. However, they can only receive benefits from one ex-spouse at a time and Social Security will automatically pay the highest amount for which they qualify. If you find this video valuable, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos.